ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a special midweek edition of PWR Prime Time. David Hero, How it was your... such an amazing Monday and Sunday night from WWE that we knew we couldn't fit everything into Prime Time this Saturday well, night on well, my 24. Well, well, first of all, how's your back feeling? My back's feeling great. Because, you know, word on the street in Chicago was you were giving Melissa Coates a piggyback ride to the Allstate Arena. I'm a gentleman and a scholar. She, her feet hurt, so I helped her. While you and the other gentleman we were with stood back and laughed. Well, I wasn't going to do it. Which is why I get the things that I do in life, and you all just talk about it. <laughs> well, more than talk, I mean, there, there's video out there, you know that, right? Everything I do, I assume, is being videotaped because I'm that big <laughs> star. I, my Ferrari didn't pin anybody in, a, uh, you know, in, 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 in paparazzi or anything the other day, but I know the cameras are always rolling. The mic is always you on. Have, you've never pinned anybody. What are you talking about? Raw, this past Monday night, we talk, we'll talk on Friday's hot tag about RVD announced to come back to WWE. Who? Rob Van Dam. Oh, this guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole and show. Yes, uh, yes. And then on primetime, we're going to talk a lot about payback. But, David, here, a lot happened this past Monday night on Raw specifically. Let's talk about how great that story was between Mark Henry and eventually John Cena. In case you didn't see, and actually last week on this program on primetime, we talked about some tweets that Mark Henry had sent out. Comes back on Raw with his nice, blazingly pink suit. Salmon color. Salmon. And was going to, uh, well, at least by all hints and teases, retire from wrestling. Did and you he cry? Would, uh, begin to, I did not cry. Did you get emotional? I did not get emotional. Did you get sentimental? I did not get sentimental. I did get surprised, though, with the way it all ended, and that being him attacking, putting the world's strongest slam on John Cena, which leads immediately to a match between the two at WWE Money in the Bank. And I, for one, love it because I didn't see it coming. And there are fans out there, a lot of you, talking about, oh, that was so obvious. You knew it was going to happen, blah, blah, blah. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. And it's not about whether well, you I did didn't. or did. Did or didn't. Did you enjoy it? Did it catch you off guard? It caught me off guard. It all made all the sense in the world, Mark Henry. Could be retiring. Sure, why not? Why is John Cena there? Oh, big, big happy thing. He's holding the belt up, blah, 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 blah. It made sense. Again, as we've been talking about off air, David Hero. Yes. Wait. It made sense. Oh, let's not talk about that. It made sense. It was believable. It was logical. It wasn't something that was being forced upon us to believe. I loved what they did this past Monday night. So all you got to do is if you want a title match against John Cena is attack him. Fake Work, retirement. Worked for Ryback. Flair Tears. Now it's worked for Mark Henry. And you know what? Mark Henry and Cena should have a great match. I mean, yeah. Mark Henry was almost the number one contender to begin with in the first place. He was one of the best world heavyweight champions in the last 10 years. Does he beat John Cena at Money in the Bank? Why not? I don't know. I don't know. I've, you know what? I can see them making – they are building John Cena to have maybe his best year ever by beating some of the biggest, baddest dudes in all of wrestling. Coming off of 2012 where he barely won a match. I mean, he beat, he beat the, Brock Lesnar and then he pretty much – He wins the Royal Rumble. Um, Limshin Chamber, he had a match there, didn't he? I forgot who. Terrible, isn't it? No, he lost. It was a, it was a, the triple, it was a six-man tag with mm -hmm. the Shield. Um, he beats The Rock, beats Ryback, the no decision with Ryback to set up the, uh, the, the hell match. And then you got Mark Henry, who he should beat. Whoever his opponent's going to be at SummerSlam, it's going to be interesting. Some are saying that could be Daniel Bryan. And then he's like, well, I mean, that'll be a great match. But, you know, you go from giant. Yeah, how can I, be good. Wait, wait, wait. How can I say this without you getting, taking it the wrong way? He I goes, don't take anything okay. the wrong way. I just hear words and I interpret He them. goes from King Kong to Godzilla to now Mothra. Mumra? From Mothra. The moth. The only thing that, that would fly? Well, I mean, Daniel Bryan is not a giant. And I'm not bearing Daniel Bryan. I'm just saying you go from two big giant monsters to Daniel Bryan. Interesting. Brock Lesnar attacks yes. CM Punk. And Brock, did, he executed it perfectly. Goes up at the microphone, gets in Punk's face. About it. Maybe he's getting ready to say something. Maybe he's getting ready to welcome him back. You Boom. know, I, F5. I thought the Rock and Punk was the Hulk low-key moment of the year. Way off. 
if Brock is Hulk and Punk is Loki, I mean, yeah. It, you know what? It's the details you got to pay attention yes. to. What was the sweatshirt Punk wore out to the ring? His jiu-jitsu shirt? Yes. Laying groundwork that he does MMA training. Mm-hmm. Okay, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if one of the Gracies is in the corner of Punk for his match with Brock Lesnar. Is Brock Lesnar CM Punk bigger than Triple H Brock Lesnar? No. In Not, my opinion, no. it is. Fans are much more behind CM Punk than they are Triple H. What's in that cup? We all established that a couple of weeks ago. How do you figure? Oh, I figure it that way because... I, unlike you, don't have an unfounded okay. hatred for CM Punk. Okay, all right. Punk. First of all, cosmetically, there is no way on God's green earth that CM Punk should get any kind of heat on Brock Lesnar. It's just like Punk and Undertaker at WrestleMania, cosmetically A as well. A 50 plus no year old way. Undertaker with replaced hips and knees. Brock Lesnar is, is a beast. By and far, one of the scariest human beings on this planet. Absolutely. I mean that. That's a shoot. He is just. He terrifies me. He should. The mere thought of him in the ring with CM Punk, you're right. There's no way CM Punk should ever get the best of Brock Lesnar in a real fight. Mm -hmm. But I'm intrigued by how they present it as a wrestling contest in a wrestling ring in a match between the two. And Brock My Lesnar looks like, and the smirk he had on his face Monday night, looks like he plans on doing nothing he was born but with that throwing smirk on Punk his around the, at, like a rag doll. My only concern is that the deck is going to be so stacked against CM Punk, mm -hmm. with Lesnar and Heyman together against CM Punk, that Punk is going to win. And then that's when we all know wrestling's fake. What? The underdog can, should never win, in your opinion. No, no, David the beat Goliath. The smaller guy should never beat a bigger well, guy, Well, first of opinion. all, David beat Goliath because he had the slingshot hit him in the, you know, right between the eyes. I don't know if there's a slingshot big enough for CM Punk to use on Brock Lesnar. Hulk Hogan beat Andre the Giant. Oh, and if we were pre previewing that in 87, you'd be saying there's no, no way Hulk Hogan should Hulk ever get a because Hulk Hogan, he had the 24-inch pythons. And CM Punk had the longest reign of any champion in yes, WWE history in and the last so 25 years. And so did Fabulous Moolah. Honky Tonk Man was the longest reigning IC champ of all time. And what happened when he fought the Ultimate Warrior? He Over in like 15 seconds. seconds. Yeah. But who remembers that? I do. Everybody remembers the rain, the streak. No, they don't. It's I the just, prelude I, to look, the match with the tape with Ultimate Warrior. I am Warrior. not saying that CM Punk should in any way, shape, or form beat Brock Lesnar, but I am saying that he is cunning enough to be able to pull something off to defeat Brock. No, You're simply looking at it as two guys down at Hooligans. Hooligans? Hoolahans. Hoolahans. It's a restaurant. Two guys down at some bar. Linda, name a bar. Yeah, Random. let Linda name a bar, please. Larry's. Where? Lannery's. Flannery. Yeah, let's Donald not name Flannery's. the one she works at. Let's name a competition. <laughs> and they get into a fight. You're talking about who's going to win that fight. There's so many variables. Oh, oh, What's hold her on. name? If, how drunk if, he if, is? If, how many shots they've had? If you're talking how many street friends fight, are there? then there's no way Punk beats But you're Brock basing Lesnar. the same thing on that. Why? In a wrestling contest. It's not all about brawn. It's about brain as well. You are simply sitting here saying that If you that look at the no pedigree way. of the fighters involved, you have a former... NCAA college All-American Big Ten wrestling heavyweight champion, amateur champion, a former UFC world champion, and there's CM Punk. Who, in professional wrestling, yes. had the longest reign of yes. any champion in Absolutely. the last 20 years, 25 Ab years. Yes. You know who why? in wrestling you know has why? been a multi-time champion? Who in wrestling has wrestled longer than Brock Lesnar has been doing all of those things you talked yes, about? Yes, you're absolutely right. He has been. He's still not 6'4 and 285 See, pounds. See, it automatically goes back to size for you. Size matters. It does matter, okay. but it doesn't See, always there you go. matter. It does not always matter. Rey Mysterio was the world heavyweight champion. Rey Mysterio yes, he won was. the Royal Rumble. Because Rey Eddie Mysterio Guerrero died. Eddie, if Eddie doesn't die, he's not world champion. What's it going to take? And the take? reason Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart were champions is because they phased out the steroid era. They had to go smaller. So there's that argument. What's it going to take for you to appreciate the talents y okay, of the CM Okay, you know Punk? what? Listen, I remember a couple years ago when CM Punk was in the Straight Edge Society.
okay? And he was losing every single match on pay-per-view to Big Show and Rey Mysterio, whatever else. And I said, you know who the guy who I'm most impressed with, because even though he loses, he keeps getting over, was CM Punk. I think the guy has an amazing fan base, and he has done more in wrestling than I ever thought he would have on this stage, being the WWE, the land of the giants. He's even admitted that in, in interviews. But Brock Lesnar is a different beast than a John Cena, than a Rock, than a Triple H. What, now let's face it, when CM Punk has fought Triple H, what happened? He lost. The last time he fought John Cena? He lost. The two times he fought The Rock? He lost. All three guys are what? Larger than he is? When he fought Undertaker, he lost. Prove me wrong. That's, you know what? And if he wins, I'll be the first one to say, wow. No, you won't. Wrestling's no, you won't. fake. <laughs> Your deep-seated hatred for the man. It, it's it, not it, hatred. Repulsive. You know what? Listen, there are certain guys you don't like to follow. You're not big fans of, right? Potentially. It's not that I, oh, please, we could, I never out you like that. I admire CM Punk's in-ring ability. Listen, he wouldn't still have a job if he wasn't any good, right? Especially in the WWE, the most cutthroat company in the world. Right? Uh-huh. Absolutely. And you know what? He did a good job carrying the company the 736,000 days that everybody talks about. <laughs> Well, come on, just throw out a huge number. What's the difference? Saturday night, prime time, Saturday night. We go in depth on what I'm hey, calling. I'm just the giving new you era. what you wanted. You're like, the oh, he's going to bury era. him. So, you know what? Fine. There it's buried. The new era in WWE. And who's leading the new era? CM Punk. It's not John Cena. It's CM Punk and Dolph Ziggler, the now two guys going forward with the company. He is. You just made my head spin around. How do you figure? Because you just spent 17 minutes talking about all the bad things about CM Punk, but veiled in one thing no, about no, him being... All I said is that he shouldn't beat Brock Lesnar. That's all that I said. I didn't list a whole bunch of different things. I just said <laughs> cosmetically and physically, he should not be able to compete with Brock Lesnar. But going forward... CM Punk will now become the number one baby face on Raw. Because it won't be John Cena. Number two will be Dolph Ziggler, and 2B is going to be John Cena. Saturday night, we're also going to be uh, bringing you an update from tomorrow night's Impact Wrestling in Peoria, Illinois. We're going down, David Hero, to Peoria to watch Impact Wrestling live. This is wait, a second wait, wait, time. Wait, hold on a second. Are we chartering a flight, or am I stuck in the car with you for four and a half hours? I'm taking the helicopter. You, I don't know how you're getting there. Didn't logistics get a hold of you, travel? I can go on the copter. I mean, I'll have to take a few, uh, you know. I want to make clear to the world out there, because you know, a lot of people out there, the well, interns this, have been providing be me with uh, the daily updates or whatnot or what, uh, what the haters are saying, because we do follow that. We love that. I don't how follow them. We're biased against, uh, towards WWE. I'm not. You know, the program that gets five I make and a half fun million of everybody. viewers a, a week versus TNA that gets one million viewers a week. So we give it more time. Mm -hmm. It's a bit ludicrous, I think. Um, but what are we doing tomorrow? Driving how far, how long to watch it's, a Thursday night live broadcast event? It's at least four hours from my house. That's a long drive. It is. At 419 a gallon? Ridiculous. Very excited to be going to see Impact Wrestling tomorrow night. I'm uh, very excited, intrigued to see, hear what's uh, going to be going down with this main event mafia thing. I understand Kevin Nash hasn't gotten his phone call. No, he has not. Uh, we'll have an update for you from Peoria this Saturday but night on Prime Time. He did tweet about it, didn't he? He did. That's going to be interesting. Uh, for that one, ladies and gentlemen, this is Damian Nelson saying thank you for joining us for what needed to be an extra segment, PWR Primetime Extra. And we'll see you for Hot Tag on Friday and then again on Saturday for... Prime time. Thank you so much.